Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Karen in London. Well, for the people who are new to this channel, just quickly tell you something about me and this channel. I'm Chinese, I live in uh, London. So this channel is all about, you know, a Chinese living in London, living in UK, and what do I think about the culture and just the different things. Um, yeah, so that just help you um, to see London and UK in a totally different new way. Okay, today I'm going to talk about one thing. Um, it's very interesting and I, uh, it's actually also quite funny. I realized there's one thing British people do. I find it's really, really annoying and I cannot stand that. I'll quickly show you what I mean. So when I first met my husband, so you can see, right, got bubble, one out, and it got lots of bubble, I wash it, and obviously I put some washing liquid in, so you can see bubble, right? And then still got bubble left here on this plate, and what he did was just use the tea towel, and just dry it, just like that, and that's clean. <laughs> and then I found it just so weird, and I'm, I was just shocked. I said, how come you wash the dishes like this? Look, it's not clean. <laughs> and then I moved to England. I've seen many people here, British people, they do that. And um, for the last three years, every single summer, we went um, for camping, you know, on the camping side. Um, and people, I see every single person I met in the camping sites. They all, because obviously you don't have a dishwasher, right? When you're camping, when you're camping. So all you can do is just you use their facilities and they do have each camping site. They have one place for you to do your dishwashing. That's what people do. Just clean like that. I'm not, you might wonder, how do you clean? Okay, I do that. And then I use the tap, right? I rinse off, I rinse off the bubbles. So I make sure I use running water. I rinse off the bubbles. So I make sure it's nice and clean. And then I leave it here for, for a bit for the plate to get dry. Or you can use tea towel to dry it. But do not miss the second step which is rinsing off the bubble left on the plate. That's just so important because literally, I, I'm only a small channel, so this is not advertising <laughs> video or anything like that. My channel is very, very small. Not many people watch my channel. So this kind of liquid, right, washing liquid, this is a PNG. For people you don't know PNG, this is Protex and Gamble. It's a very, very um, big company. I used to work for this company when I was in China, work for marketing research companies, because every year they do lots of marketing research um, for their all of their products. So I asked this um, one specialist in this, I asked them, you know, when you do your dishwasher, do you need to rinse off the bubbles and then use a tea towel to dry? They said, yes, of course, because guess what? This is the, all the chemical stuff, even the ingredients and this um, basilin, sonalilin, and mazali, all of these words, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> But I guess this is all chemical stuff, right? And no one said this is, you know, if it got no chemical stuff in it, how can you clean the really greasy plate? So that's why I asked the expert, the people who works for this company, and they said you really need to rinse off the bubble before you use a tea towel to clean it. 
And I just don't know why the whole country, the people here, you don't rinse off the bubble. <laughs> That's so annoying. That's one thing I cannot stand. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Do you rinse off the bubble? Well, nowadays, obviously, we have dishwasher. I don't know who invented the dishwasher, but that's definitely one of the best inventions in the whole wide world. So uh, usually, well, now we have a dishwashers and we put everything in dishwasher and we don't need to do this, you know, use our hands to clean our dishes anymore. But there are some like occasions your dishwasher is not working or you um, go camping, you know, especially camping. Yeah, so um, that's one thing I I think people do here that really, really, this is one thing I cannot stand. And I'm like, sometimes, especially in the camping side, I see people doing this and I'm like, I want to help you wash your place. <laughs> okay, that's today's video and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, just let me know what you think. Do you rinse off the bubbles on your plates? Um, yeah and i'll see you next time oh just quickly before i say goodbye one more thing i think that's the th same thing uh, rinsing off the bubble when you have a bath obviously before you start your bath you put some bubble stuff in that can help you you know relax your body or smells lovely all of these bubble products and that's the same thing same question i want to ask do after the bath do you take a quick shower and rinse off the bubble left on your body or not? Because I think that's sort of like same thing. The reason I ask is because my husband doesn't. He put a lot of bubble inside and then just use the towel to dry it. And when he works out, never use a shower to rinse off. For this thing, I can't really see other people do it. <laughs> because I don't have any chances to see anybody else naked and whether they rinse off or not. So yeah, let me know. Is it same or only my husband does it? Nobody else does it? Yeah, because that's kind of like the same thing. So I just like to know. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video today and I'll see you next time. Bye.